Hello guys, and in today's video, I'm going to be fitting these Pro Sport Lauren Springs. So, Pro Sport actually ended up sending me these out at a discounted price. So, if you're looking for any Lauren Springs, coilovers, or wheel spacers, anything like that, go give their website a look. But I was already running their 35mm Lauren Springs, but I wanted to go a bit lower on the Escort, so I went for their 55mm Lauren Springs. So, let's get into fitting them. So I started by jacking the car up and taking the wheel off. And once I'd removed the bolt that holds the shock into the hub, I used a rubber mallet to get the shock out of the hub. Once I'd got the shock out of the back of the hub, it was time to remove the top bolts. So that is the first shock removed. We'll get the spring clamps onto the spring, tension it down and then we'll get it removed. So that's the spring tension. Now just to remove that top mount bolt and we'll get the new spring on. And now that the new spring was fitted into the shock, it was time to put it back onto the car. So to fit it back up, we were just doing the same process to take it off, but reversing it. So that's the first spring on and it's already sitting lower. You can see the gap there compared to that on this side. And it's obviously still got to settle. So that's one corner done. <clears throat> so that is the passenger side front done. Now we'll do the driver's side front. Um, and aye, we'll just get into it. So I was just repeating the same process as the other side. Started by removing the brake line. Then onto the bolt that holds the shock into the hub. Then the other two top bolts. And then I could remove the suspension. And once the spring was clamped down, I could remove the top mount bolt. And then it was time to clamp the new spring. So that's the new spring onto this shot. And we'll just get this back in. Oh, 
So that's the full front end done now. Now only the back to tackle. But that looks good like. No much I got there. Brilliant. So I had already removed the bolt that holds the shock into the back axle, so it was straight onto the top bolt. Once they were out, I could drop the whole suspension out. And there we go. Brilliant. Then once again it was time to tension down the spring. And off camera, I've just took the spring off of the shocky. Uh, it was actually pretty simple, well, more simple on the back. It was actually just that and a nut and bolt through there. So, yeah, and then we'll get these clamps off, get them onto the new spring, uh, and fit them. So, I've got the new spring tensioned. We'll just get that one. And then it was time to refit the shock with the new spring inside. So I have just took the jack from under this back end and it's looking good like still a bit of a gap but you don't want it to go too crazy. I don't want it to scrape or anything like that and I still want it to actually be a bit comfy. So yeah, that's looking good but all we've got to do now is this last corner over here. So you can see the difference already but obviously we've still got to settle so we'll get on to doing this one. For one last time it was off with the top bolts. So I've got all the bolts out for the actual shock, so we'll just remove it now. There we go. So I've got the new spring on the shock, so time to put it back on. So that is all four Loren springs onto the car. Really happy with how it's sitting, obviously. It's still got to settle in that, but I'm pretty happy with how that looks right now, especially the front end. That's much well, I guess all there is to do now is give it a wee test drive, so let's do it. So we're now on the main road, it actually feels really smooth. Um, yeah, it feels really good. It's a bit stiffer, because uh, I've went over a few speed bumps, it's a bit stiffer, but it's not like bouncing, it's just like more robust really, so yeah, happy with that. But unfortunately, that brings us to the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching. And I just want to give another thanks to Pro Sport for giving me the discount on the springs. But there'll be more videos on the Escort soon. I've got a new set of wheels to put on, so I can't wait to make that video. But yeah, please like this video, comment down below, and subscribe to my channel if you're new or you're watching my videos and you're not subscribed. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.